Hey YouTube, Sunday afternoon, a little breezy out, wind is out of the west, sun shining, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, go figure, huh? I've been a little busy out here, been playing with this stuff, I cleaned up all my rads. See that? I got a nice stack of rads here, some of them are standing there to drain. I don't know what to do with this guy yet, but uh, I got noodles to clean up. I get a mess, I make a mess, I got to clean a mess up, right? I'm going to get my glove on. I made a video earlier, but uh, I'm going to let my wife look at it first before I upload it. And I don't know, it might offend a lot of you people. It might offend none, it might excite a few people. I don't know, but I'm going to let my wife decide on that one. So this one's going to be short and sweet because we're going curbside when she gets done work. I can stack all those, have them ready for the scrapyard. This one i got to deal with yet. I do believe he's a steel tank with a copper rad. Not 100% sure yet. What do I do with my magnet? hope the wind isn't messing things up too badly. It is a little breezy. I mean... Shorts. Yesterday I was in pants with a hoodie. Ooh. Wow. Winter and then summer back again. Okay. Oh, I thought that was steel. Okay. I'm wrong. Maybe the whole thing's copper. Oh, there we go. That bracket there is steel. Look at that, eh? That's not good. Okay. Yep. Hey, come back here. <laughs> Obviously it don't stick to the rest of the rad, but that thing. How am I supposed to get that off? Let's take a better look at it in the lighter. Oh, she's a heavy old girl. Probably got water in it too, maybe from all that rain. How are you supposed to get that steel off? Huh. I've never taken one apart before, so I don't really have any idea. Enough that, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Let me see if I can get it in the vise here. I have you in my hand, so I gotta hold you like that. Okay, we have her in the vise now. You see anything that I can't see? That's steel. Let me get the magnet back. See? But the radiator is not. Now that doesn't look like it's part of the rad, or does it? No. Because mm -hmm. ah, you can see through the hole, it doesn't look like it's part of the rad. I think it's just the main support, so when you set it in the car, it's got something sturdier, but. That's not steel there at all, but as soon as you hit that, it is. So, little piece of steel there that, that just holds that plug in place. I knew that. That's not. Huh. That'll be steel. Drain plug. Otherwise. So the two pieces, bottom and top, okay, and those clips, and that, well, huh, I'll put you back where I need you. Okay, anyways, I got to clean this mess up. I got those two to take apart yet too, but that ain't going to happen. It's going on 4 o'clock. My wife will be home by 5.30ish, and then we're going to go curbside. She's at work right now, so. And, uh, yeah. Garbage day isn't until tomorrow. I would have went this afternoon. Because uh, sometimes we do an afternoon on a Sunday. We do uh, go out of town to another town. But 
I didn't feel like it. And then I answered an ad on Facebook Marketplace. Well, she said, I got someone else who might be interested. I'll keep you in mind. And I thought, well, I ain't going to sit in front of the computer and wait all day long whether you decide to acknowledge it or not. So I came back out here while she acknowledged it. And then, of course, I didn't reply back, so I missed out, but whatever. It's in the same area I was yesterday to pick up that dryer. So go figure. I thought it was the same person almost. Now, why would you do that? But, well, it ain't their area for scrapping tonight either, so I think that's why they're advertising it. It's not until, uh, let me put my tools away here. It's not until uh, Thursday night is that area, so. But you advertise it, it disappears. Like 60 bucks a ton with a motor inside for 20 bucks pound right so that's why I take the motor out see the one I just disassembled that one I got was that one and look I didn't even have to scratch it to find out that it's aluminum the paint already wore off or the varnish paint varnish what's the difference right colors the material so yeah Mind me, I'm just walking back and forth, picking my tools up before I forget them. I'm absent-minded that way. I can get onto something else and totally be oblivious that I left my tools outside, and then I go looking for them. And, oh shit! You know, <laughs> I don't like to treat my tools badly because they help me out, especially my battery-operated ones. Bad enough, I leave a screwdriver or a hammer outside. If I had my way, everything would be indoors, including that thing, but I ain't got the room for it, right? I ain't going to spend ten grand and build a garage. Then I'd have a newer truck. <laughs> and I wouldn't go scrapping because I'd be scared of scratching it. So, yeah, see, one, one defeats the other purpose. So anyways, that's what I've been up to. A little bit. Like I said, I did a, a video earlier showing me cutting these up how I do it I do it a little different than everybody else I do believe because as you can see the macaroni noodles are all over the floor and the pieces of steel that are attached are empty a lot of you cut them off from the inside and then leave the noodles on here and then you got to try and pull the noodles off I don't do that I cut it on the side on the outside of it so I cut all the noodles off and then just pull this off so you're cleaning both ends at the same time normally a lot of people go here inside I went on the outside that's all I did different you still get the same effect of the rad but you don't have to yank all the noodles off those steel things I've done that before there's my old vice she's no good she's broken I've had that for a long long time I might be able to restore it, but I have my doubts. She's missing a jaw, as you can see. But I'm looking for one of those outdoor vices that are on the back. I've got a scrapyard behind me. I'm going to bug him. He's got some old welding trucks back there that have the old, uh, that still have the bench vice on the back of the truck. Those are designed for outside. So I have that sold. She's getting it tomorrow. I keep forgetting about this mess I got back here. See, out of sight, out of mind. I got to advertise that stuff. That works. It's 35, 40 years old, but it works. Single burner, cast iron, aluminum body, aluminum frame, original propane tank. The guy painted it to match the, the barbecue frame. But it's my backup. That piece of junk over there that's supposed to be stainless, which is not. <laughs> Yeah, I've already had to rebuild half of it. Star, do you not see the score? Get him! Get him! <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to yell in your ear. That's her job. Chase squirrels. Right? Right. Okay. 
I'm gonna put that table away in the garage because that's a brand new vise. I have it attached to a rolling table. I usually have it in the shed. I didn't want to drag all these rads in the garage so and get all this oil crap in the garage. So keep the mess outside, right? Hmm. Okay. Like, subscribe, and share or not. Marty. Your one minute updates is awesome thought, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I think it works. Have fun with it.